Hello and welcome to Nerdy Auctions. Ah, collections, so fun. Collections like these, craziness. Ah, the Black Lotus, so good. We'll take a closer look at that later just for fun. Um, but let's talk about collections because, well, if you're on this channel, you probably collect stuff. I mean, that's pretty much a given, or you just play the game and you don't collect stuff and you just throw everything in the trash, which wouldn't make much sense. Um, but let's talk about collections current day with the coronavirus and everything downplaying and everybody's not working and that kind of stuff. It's going to be really hard for people to make ends meet. A lot of people, tons of them. And one thing they can do is sell off their collections in a down market which could end up uh, flooding the market with cards, which in one way is good because prices come down, but in another way is bad because prices will go back up. And so you will look back and say, oh, I wish I hadn't had to sell it. So, you know, and, and there is a bad scenario with that. You actually can lose a lot of money because you have to sell now. And if you have to sell now, I guess you don't have a choice. Or you could just feel like you don't have a choice and then dump because everything else is going down. Just like they did in the market. A whole bunch of people just dumped their product because they didn't think they would make value. So that's why the stock market tanked. It crashed. No one was going to be working. Therefore, the businesses weren't going to be running. And therefore, the stock market reflected that. Everybody dumped their stock. We saw the first downswing, and then the second downswing, and then everyone went, ah, and then, you know, sold everything. So we've hit a kind of a gray area of a floor, maybe. I think we're close to a floor. Could see some more dips in that. I don't know. It's a weird environment since this coronavirus started kind of thing going on. And yes, I've been selling on nerdy auctions, but that's more or less not necessary to get money. If for me, it's more like more of an entertainment value and I'm hoping that this will give people entertainment value to watch auctions. That's, that's it. That's all it is. But, and it does produce money, I suppose. Yeah, well, it, it does. And ultimately, I'll get money. However, um, many people probably won't go the eBay route and they won't go to the auctions and they might just take the easier route and go to a local game store or go to, uh, contact a person you know outside of inside magic or whatever and then they might get even less money you know selling at 30 percent or even 40 percent of the current value that's already <laughs> declined <laughs> you know so you gotta be extremely cautious when selling at all currently it's it's a weird weird environment you know as as we go into if we go in months into this it's gonna get even weirder <laughs> it's uh i mean as people don't work and uh the and if they don't get paid it's gonna get stranger and there's gonna be a lot of a lot of push on the on collectibles they're just gonna start selling them because they need to they don't have a choice and that's that's unfortunate it's not it's not good um, I would prefer people just to hold on to their collections and eventually after we pull out of this nonsense of coronavirus then we can all get back to work and everything will hopefully get to some back to some kind of normality I guess as it were um, I'm trying to make sure videos are coming up regularly so that we can uh, just you know have some normalcy and have some fun and have some laughs uh, but uh, a person uh, made me a, I mean, people have been sending me a list of cards that they want to sell at, well, weird prices. <laughs> so, and then I go, yeah, you can usually do better than that, so don't sell it to anybody at that price. So, you know, I, I know that's kind of a weird thing to do, but you, you really don't want to undersell your cards. It just doesn't make any sense. You, you know, I know you, I, I know people need their money, but that's just a thing. Don't undersell. You know, you can shop around. 
All right, you can even, you know, talk to dealers. I've got this, it's and I'm gonna call the next one and call the next one and call the next one until you actually find someone who has something that is, you know, you should sell it for. Don't, don't settle for rock bottom and don't start at rock bottom. Because, <laughs> you know, and, and then there's gonna be a lot of stuff on the market um, pretty soon, I think. And if you start buying it all, you're, you might need money soon. You know, so keep in mind that even though, if, 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 let's say you're not working and you start buying stuff because currently you're fine in the bank. Everybody's money eventually runs out. It's a thing. And then you could be upside down. And then you don't want to be in that position because now, although you bought low, now you're going to have to sell it and take a loss on that. So there's also people that could possibly overbuy. It's the reverse of a collectible. I mean, you're you're buying a lot of stuff. It's all really cool, and then you find yourself bought too much stuff. And now what do I do? Now you have to find someone to buy it, and then you have to dump it for less than you bought it for, because now you're upside down because you bought way too much stuff. I mean, the, that's the thing. So don't undercut yourself when you're selling your stuff. And don't overbuy, because you still have to, we still have to keep going. <laughs> All right. So these are the kind of things. I'm going to be selling some items on, on uh, nerdy auctions, but we're just going to watch them and have fun and enjoy them. It's, you know, but uh, try not to undercut yourself. That's, that's one of the things that I think people are going to be hard to do, because they're going to be feeling the stress. You know, they're going to be feeling, well... Only got X amount of dollars. I need to come up with rent money. I, I need to get this done now. And then there's some people out there that are like, "Okay, I'm gonna take it." <laughs> you know. So it's it's a thing. So be careful. I guess that's the strongest thing I'm saying here. Be careful because it, it's really not. I mean, it is it is bad, but it's. It, I'm hoping that everything will kind of. Turn around soon. <laughs> That's the thing. So just be careful when you're selling your items. Try to get the best dollar. Call around. Shop around. Don't just spit out a number at somebody that's really low because they'll probably snap you, snap call it on, the, on you, and you'll know that you're way, way, way under undervalued. All right? So just be careful when you're doing that. All right. I'm going to let you take a look at the Black Lotus... Uh, 10 right now just for fun All right, here we go. It's the beta black Lotus 10 uh, So tiny it's got 9.5 in those corners, but let's take a close-up look here if I can Get it to focus on the card So crisp so nice So fun to look at right? It's really kind of cool, you know? You can see those edges. How nice it is. See the surface. Or as I call Star Wars. I don't think that's the intro, but it's alright. It's been a while. <laughs> it's one of the it's one of the songs. <laughs> so just be careful out there, guys, if you're selling your stuff. You know. That's all I'm saying. And hopefully a picture of this as a screenshot will like, you know cause people to come and look at the channel <laughs> or at least uh, get a little bit of advice all right so hit the like button subscribe make a comment i hope this was a help i hope this was kind of useful all right i'll talk to you again on the next one